Can you squat more than my girlfriend? We're about to find that out. What's up everybody, Nathaniel Morton here with NathanielMorton.com helping you build an unstoppable body and mind. And in today's video, we are going to do something a little bit different. We are going to see how much my girlfriend can squat and if you have been skipping leg day. Okay, we're gonna see if you can squat more than her. And actually, I haven't told her the extent of everything that we're gonna do. We're actually going to, so that I can tie this in for my viewers and my subscribers that already watch me, we're going to tie this into my free weight training vertical jump program that I've been giving out. So if you don't already have my free weight training vertical jump program and you want it, you can go to my Instagram, tag three people on any one of my posts, follow me and I will send you this jump program for free. Also, if you want a free body weight program that you need no equipment for, comment jump, J-U-M-P down below in the comments comment section of this video. So what we are going to do today is go through week one, day one of my vertical jump training program, the pre-test that you need to do before you start the program. And we are going to test her standing box jump, her one step box jump, her standing vertical jump, her one step vertical jump. Can you jump high? <laughs> and her box squat. Actually, so you, in my vertical jump program, you can test your box squat max, but today we're actually gonna test her back squat max. So here we go, let's do it. Starting at 26 inches, okay? Now this does not mean that she has a 26 inch vertical jump. This just means that she can box jump 26 inches. And the reason is because when you do a box jump, you can bend your knees up, okay? So go ahead, do this one, this should be easy for you. There you go. See how she bends her knees and kind of goes into a squat? That is not an accurate test of a vertical jump. That's just an accurate test of a box jump. Round two, the box is 30 inches. Okay, you think you're gonna make it? Yeah. All right. Okay, you can't, it's not a one step. It's just a standing. So you have to stand there, plant both feet. Oh, that was close, but you got it. All right, so now you're gonna switch this one and that one. All right, guys, so this is the next step. We got 24 inches and 12 inches, that's 36. Now, if you guys um, are at an LA Fitness or you work out somewhere, hopefully they have vertical jump boxes with smaller increments. Unfortunately, we don't, um, so we're going up by two inches every time. Hopefully you can go up by an inch, um, but here we go. You got it. Remember, you have to stand, plant your feet. Okay. Come on, just you gotta attempt. <laughs> so, usually I would give you three tries. Are you gonna try again, or is that it for you? I'll try one more time. All right. Gotta stand. Can't. That's a that's that's a one step that you're doing. All right, right there. All right, so now just transition into the one step. Do you know what that is? No. All right, so here, Did hold it. Yeah, so plant one foot, and you get to step into that one foot. <laughs> Come on, jump. <laughs> Too high. Too high? All right, moving on to test three out of five. What we're gonna do is actually test her standing vertical jump. Now this is actually a pretty accurate measurement, what we're gonna do. This is a pretty accurate measurement of what your vertical jump actually is in inches. So after this test, you'll be able to understand what your vertical jump is in inches um, so that you can compare yourself to where you should be in your age bracket and everything like that. And I'll put a picture right here on the screen for average vertical jump for age bracket. An excellent vertical jump, a phenomenal vertical jump, would be about 40 inches, okay? That's absolute top of the line. You're the top 1%. Um, 30 inches, yeah. If you get 40, um, um, 
I'll, I'll, I don't know what I'll do. What do you want? If, if I get 40, you have to do laundry for a week and fold the clothes. If you have a 40 inch vertical jump, <laughs> I will do laundry for the rest of my life. I will fold the clothes for the rest of my life. I will do dishes. And I will clean this apartment. I will do the dishwasher. Okay. Because okay. chances of you getting 40. 100. What we're gonna do is, number one, use some tape. Do not use a lint roller. But she already has, can you show them? She has, are you flicking them off? No. She already, she already has tape on her fingers. It should actually just be on one <laughs> finger, her middle finger, but that's okay. She can do it like that too. Is Because we're just testing her standing reach for now. So what you're gonna do is just get close to the wall, stand sideways, and reach up, and it's gonna be on your fingertip, and put it as high as you can on your fingertip. Okay, so you use your fingertip, reach up as high as you can on the wall, and that is what is called your standing reach. After that, she's gonna take another piece of tape or lint roller, and she's going to jump as high as she can, stick it on the wall, and then we will measure the distance in between, and that will be her vertical jump. All right, the moment of truth. What is her vertical jump? Oh, hold on, hold on. You can swing your arms. You're allowed to jump like a, like a okay. normal person. Okay, okay, okay. Samantha. Yeah. That cannot be accurate. <laughs> Why? That cannot be your vertical jump. <laughs> really? Here, take the camera. Really? Guys. <laughs> let's hope that she just didn't have good technique. Because let me try that, again. Let me try again. Hold on, wait. <laughs> it might be 40. Your vertical <laughs> jump is <laughs> nine inches. <laughs> you got nine, babe. What? Let me try again. Take this. Are you kidding? Look. Nine? No, like. All right, okay, just give it, wait. Yeah, so you can already jump higher than that. Okay, so look, when, Samantha, I'm talking to you. <laughs> when you do this, okay, you reach up, you touch there. For, at first, you're going like that, okay? What you're gonna do, swing your arms, jump as high as you can and touch. Okay. So it's, it's gonna look like this, okay? You're not, you're not just gonna go like this, you're gonna, <laughs> Swing and get that momentum. Okay? okay. So it's gonna be like that. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Come on, babe. You can get 10. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. There you go, that was better. Okay. That was a little bit better. Let's see what it is. Now let's notice that she used the largest piece of lint roller that she could rip off. So we're gonna measure the the middle of it to make it fair. Cause uh. Okay, so that one was 13. Okay. So that was a lot better. There you go. That looks good. So her standing vertical jump is 13 and a half. Her one step vertical jump is 14. All right, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the fifth and final test, the back squat, which I guarantee will be higher or better than her vertical jump. Her vertical jump, needless to say, was just a little bit below average, okay? It was okay, a little bit below average, but I guarantee her back squat is going to be above average. 95 pounds, this should go up like butter. Too easy. Just one rep. Rack it and increase. Have you paid your membership here? <laughs> oh, you live here? Okay. <laughs> Moving on. We got 45 pounds on each side, which is 135. Let's do it. Next set, we have 185 pounds. You need a spot? Are you good? Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. 
Wow, impressive. All right, so we got 195 on the bar. Um, she says we're creeping up to her one rep max, so I'm going to spot her. Um, if you don't have a partner to spot you, these bars right here, definitely set those up higher than that so that you don't crush yourself with the weight. Here we go, 195. Yo, 225, baby. More than I could do. All right, so 225 pounds is what she ended up getting. Can you squat more than my girlfriend, <laughs> or do you skip leg day? Don't skip leg day. Um, any advice for them going through my pretest for my vertical jump program? There's always room for improvement. Don't get discouraged. There is always room <laughs> for improvement. So if you end up with a nine-inch vertical jump, <laughs> try, try again because eventually you'll get 13 and a half. Okay? So, all right, guys. This I'm was coming back. I'm going to get a 40 inch vertical. She's going to do the program, program and she's going to get a 40 inch vertical so that I have to do laundry for the rest of my life. <laughs> I am confident that I don't want to doubt you because I know she, she has my intro is always how to build an unstoppable body and mind. She has an unstoppable mind. So, I don't want to doubt you but I think I'll take my <laughs> chances. I don't think you're gonna get to a 40 inch vertical jump. We'll see. But, all right guys, this has been Nathaniel Morton. This is just a little bit of a different type of video. Normally I'm just giving you educational stuff, sometimes some inspirational stuff. This was for a little bit of entertainment, just trying to try something different for my channel. But once again, if you do not have my weight training vertical jump program, you can get it by going to my Instagram, following me, tagging three people on any one of my posts and turning on your post notifications. If you want a free body weight vertical jump program, you can just comment jump, J-U-M-P, down below in the comment section. And I will put her Instagram up on the screen right here. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, remember that action is everything. Knowledge is not power. It is only potential power until you take action on what you know. The only way that you know something is to take what you know and create a result from it in your life. If you wanna build that unstoppable body and that unstoppable mind, you need to take action on your thoughts instead of just thinking about what you want in life. Go out and do it, and that is how you will see results in your life. We'll see you guys in the next video.